McDonald's Core. MCD minus 1.43% is expected Tuesday to detail the changes to its organizational structure in the U.S., which it says entails providing more resources to franchisees. In a new memo sent ahead of a town hall meeting planned for Tuesday morning, McDonald's USA President Chris Kempinski sought to reassure U.S. employees and franchisees that they will get more support from the company even though some positions will be eliminated. In the memo, which was reviewed by The Wall Street Journal, Mr. Kempinski said all employees who will be laid off will be notified by June 28 but didn't say how many would lose their jobs in the restructuring. McDonald's already has cut an undisclosed number of corporate jobs in the last two years and said it is reinvesting some of its cost savings in technology, such as digital ordering, that it believes will lead to growth. In a document posted to the investor relations section of its website on Monday, the company said it expects to record a pre-tax charge of $80 million to $90 million in the second quarter of this year because of employee severance costs and other costs associated with the closing of field offices. That document said the transition to the new field structure will be completed in the third quarter. One of the biggest changes will be creating a single point of contact to help each franchisee build business plans and get the corporate resources they need to solve problems, Mr. Kempinski said in Monday's memo. McDonald's field consultants, who once primarily graded restaurants on such things as cleanliness and service, will now spend less time doing that and at least 50% more time helping franchisees improve their business, according to the memo. McDonald's also is creating a new executive position called Chief Transformation Officer to oversee the changes. By shifting from too many supervisory layers to a more field-first focused structure, we will better support owners-slash-operators in their restaurants, and be smarter and more responsive in the field, Mr. Kempchinsky wrote. The changes come after the company in April reported that customer visits in the U.S. fell in the first quarter. Last week, Mr. Kempinski told staff in an emailed video message that the company was reducing the number of layers between field consultants and chief executive Steve Easterbrook to six from eight, in an effort to facilitate faster decision making. In that memo, he said the new structure would better support franchisees and help the company be more dynamic, nimble and competitive.